Type 2 diabetes mellitus comprises of increased blood sugar levels as a result of insulin resistance or impaired insulin secretion. Diabetes is a chronic disease that occurs following metabolic impairment. It is increasing at an alarming pace worldwide, and it is estimated that by 2035, almost 600 million people will be affected by this disease. Various research studies have proved that a balanced healthy diet and following a proper physical regime can reduce the risk of developing diabetes by about 40%. With the intention of preventing diabetes becoming a global epidemic, many researchers have been working on identifying the dietary factors that may play a crucial role in reducing the incidences of developing type 2 diabetes. Many studies have established the fact that modest dairy consumption may be associated with reducing the incidences of diabetes. Calcium, an essential mineral and an important component of all the dairy products, is required for insulin secretion and is actively involved in the mechanism of insulin action by controlling the calcium levels within the cells. One of the studies conducted on the Korean population, published in Korean Genome and Epidemiology Study and observed for 10 years, has demonstrated an inverse relation between dietary calcium intake and risk of type 2 diabetes. There have been numerous other studies that have been conducted in the United States and Europe that have revealed the association between calcium-rich food intake and risk of diabetes development. As compared to the Western countries, the Koreans' calcium sources are more diverse. This study considered various calcium-rich diets, including dietary products such as milk, yogurt, cheese, and plant-based foods such as anchovies, lettuce, sea mustard, laver, tofu, kimchi, and beans. The study also included fruits such as strawberries, melons, peaches, bananas, apples, and oranges, to name a few. The analysis was based on the compilation of intake levels of each of these foods to deduce the total intake of calcium-rich foods. The study revealed that of all the calcium-rich food sources, yogurt was far more capable of reducing the risk of diabetes. Though the role of non-dairy sources of dietary calcium in reducing the risk of diabetes is still controversial, high amount of yogurt consumption is directly related to the lowering of diabetes risk. Yogurt is a fermented dairy product which has many health boosting features due to immense amounts of proteins, mineral, calcium, vitamins, and high concentration of probiotics such as lactobacillus, Delbruckisubst bulgaricus, and Streptococcus thermophilus. Randomized controlled trials on diabetes and non-diabetes participants reveal that those who consumed yogurt had significantly lower HbA1c and fasting blood sugar levels and lower rates of insulin resistance too as compared to those who did not consume at all. Vitamin D and magnesium present in yogurt also have proved to be beneficial against type 2 diabetes. It has been observed that a total intake of more than 1200 mg calcium and more than 800 IU vitamin D is linked with a 33% lower risk of type 2 diabetes compared with an intake of less than 600 mg and 400 IU calcium and vitamin D, respectively. This suggests that calcium plays an important role in the prevention of type 2 diabetes. Though calcium deficiency is difficult to document, it has been a matter of concern as people are not consuming the recommended intake for calcium. Enough research has been done to demonstrate that altered vitamin D and calcium equilibrium in the blood may play a role in the development of type 2 diabetes. Most of the observational studies have contributed towards the consistent association that exists between low vitamin D status, calcium or dairy intake, and prevalence of type 2. Along with calcium insufficiency, there are evidences that vitamin D deficiency may negatively influence blood glucose level, concluding that combined supplementation with both nutrients may be beneficial in optimizing glucose metabolism.